So I decided to do Ramadan for the week that I'm here for it. And so this is my last breakfast before starting tomorrow. So so today is officially the first day of Ramadan and <laughs> that's how I feel. No, um, but I decided to fast as a form of solidarity and respect and also I really just want to experience and really immerse myself um, my last week here, my last couple of days. Also, I feel, like, I feel like it would be a lot harder to keep just eating when everybody else isn't and all the restaurants are closed and the only thing available is McDonald's and then to have my host um, housekeeper like cook for me while she can't eat it just doesn't feel right so a little update i'm thirsty it is currently what time is it i think it's like 11 30 um and i had to be up for 10 we had a meeting in school in my program and so i've only been up for like an hour and a half or two hours um but i usually drink water in the morning um, so that's the only thing that's gonna be hard. I'm hungry, but like, I'm a college student. Cuando nosotros no estamos pasando hambre, o sea. I'm really happy to be doing this. Because y'all are strong. Everyone that is doing Ramadan and always does Ramadan, como parte de su religión, o sea, I give it to y'all. And I've only been doing it for two hours. <laughs> We are down to the last. How much time do we have left, guys? Yes! Two yes. hours! 35 minutes! Yes. So, <laughs> so we're down to 35 minutes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we are still preparing. What are you doing, Rita? Tell us. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm the friends of Tariani. No, tu ama petite. <laughs> and my, your friend. Oui, oui, oui. C'est vrai. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're that was a little me. update. You're How do I feel? No, you're my friend and my little sister too. Are you two? Uh, which you uh, need a bit. Uh, uh, Oh, <laughs> okay, that was her magic trick, guys. So, anyways, just a little update. I am currently starving, which is obvious, but um, today was the first time I got into the pool after being here for four months, um, and it was awesome, a, t a way to pass the time. <laughs> but yes, I haven't drunk any water, any liquids, and I haven't had anything to eat so i'm very excited to eat i don't know why i'm talking like that but anyway that is my update so see you guys tomorrow or actually see you guys later so my first day fasting has come to an end um and we had an amazing meal an amazing dinner um, there was two family cousins. They were so funny. They were literally awesome um, One of them was literally at first she arrived and she heard me calling my host dad and my host mom um, Baba and mama. She was like don't call me auntie and I was like, okay, cuz she didn't want to like be old or whatever and then as the day went by She was like, oh my god, you're awesome. Um, call me mom, please <laughs> like oh my god no you're awesome um and yeah dinner was so good when i tell you guys i stuffed my face it's because i stuffed my face i ate so much that my stomach was like girl you just went from not eating all day to stuffing your face like that you need to slow down and it calm down take several seats okay no but <laughs> it was really nice we had a nice conversation um no, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome! I'm waking up tomorrow to do the same. <laughs> Except tomorrow my dinner will be at 
FOO, which is an organization here. Um, I think it's a nonprofit here in Morocco that helps out a lot of migrants. They come here to get to eventually to get to Europe and stuff, or just to get away from toxic or negative things happening in their countries. Um, so I'm really excited for that. And also, two of my program friends put on a show, and that will be before dinner, I think. So I'm very excited. So it's 4.30 in the morning, I got up at 4am because I wanted to eat some more before the day really started and I could no longer keep eating and so I set up an alarm for 4. I went to bed at 1am, set up an alarm for 4 and did not think I was actually going to get up but when I tell you the food was calling, the food was calling. So yes, I got up. I just had a mighty meal. I took a picture of it, but I'll show you guys the remains. I got a little pizza left. And yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so I almost forgot to do my video for today on how my fast went today. And um, basically, this morning it sucked. Um, it was harder than yesterday. Because I woke up at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. I don't know how many hours I slept, but it didn't feel like much. And <laughs> so then I was up and like I didn't really have anything to do. And I realized that eating takes up a lot of our time as it should. But it's just like for me, I never really appreciated it. Like, yo, like just sitting down to eat is something amazing. Like, because I'm from New York, so I'm so used to just walking and eating like travel eating like that's my jam but i hear i've done more of like the sitting and like taking longer time to eat and just actually interacting with humans and not doing that has been like i'm shook today especially had me shook because i'm like yo I, that's a great way to pass the time but i'm not doing it because i can't um i'm currently in the kitchen because <laughs> I'm eating, this is one of the most delicious fruits I've ever had and I don't remember the name of it, but it's so good. But I fell off track. <laughs> um, so yeah, my program here, they had an event at a community center. It's kind of like a community center and it was amazing. They had live music. They, two of my um, colleagues and like school colleagues, who am I? <laughs> um, put on a show with, um, other people's from other people from the community center and migrants that attend the community center um, and it was beautiful I'm going to insert some clips eat something, something more, <laughs> because I will not be waking up at 4 a.m. today. No, 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 no. Today has really been great. I Oh, one more thing. I really realized I always try to be grateful, but this really humbles you, like for real. Um, having that first sip of water and then eating, I was just like, wow, this is really amazing. Like food is really that like it's really important in our lives and it plays such a huge role in like our survival but also our just interactions with others our own interactions with ourselves like uh, this I love it <laughs> and yeah so that was my day hello beautiful people Mariah Carey got nothing on me, boo. Oh, okay, let me relax. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, it's a good experience that I really wanted, and I really wanted to understand why it happens, why it's done. Um, and I am understanding it for sure. I was actually speaking to my host dad today at um, dinner, 
And I was telling him because, you guys, today was actually really hard. Harder than yesterday and harder than the day before. Um, which is crazy because before actually starting, everybody that does it every year um, as a part of their religion was telling me that after the first two days, it's easy. Um, it's easier. Um but it's actually the opposite for me. And I was trying to explain why to my host dad today. And basically what I came up with is that every day it gets more difficult for me. But every day my appreciation for fasting and for Ramadan just grows. Because... It's truly, truly difficult, and it's something that you're putting your body through a lot, but it really does make you think about life and make you ref makes you reflect about the things you take for granted, like food and, and water. Oh my god, water has been huge for me. And it really puts you in the shoes and helps you empathize with those that don't have food to eat every day, and you're only doing it for... A couple hours, okay, most of the day. But given you know at that at the, you know that at the end you're gonna have relief, and um, a lot of people that actually live like this without food every day don't know when they're gonna have relief, and that's just mind blowing. Because I know I can barely function during the day when I'm not eating, and I just I really cannot imagine. It's just. It's actually crazy and it's so sad and it just makes me so grateful and thankful and this really has been an amazing experience. I'm so glad that I actually challenged myself with doing this and what's really cool is also that the faces of the Moroccans I tell um, that I'm fasting when they ask me like, oh, how has it been? And when I tell them, oh, I've been fasting as well, they literally just, like, light up. And they're like, oh, my God, really? Like, wow, like, bravo. <laughs> like, thank you for, like, doing that for us and for really, you know, trying to, you know, share in this experience with us. And it's something beautiful that we're happy that you're getting to experience. Um, and I'm just like, oh, my God, stop. But yeah, like, <laughs> basically, I freaking love, <laughs> freaking love what I've gained from this experience. And I'm not even doing it for a full month, which I was telling my host that too. At dinner, I was like, I commend the Muslim community and everyone that does Ramadan for doing it for a full month because I don't know if I could. But yeah, so that's how I've been feeling today. And fun! I cooked today for my family and okay you guys cooking for me is a huge deal <laughs> like you can ask any of my friends um, you can ask my brothers and my mom like they will literally just high key shit on me <laughs> because I suck at cooking I cannot cook and honestly it's because I don't really try I don't really like to cook I feel like it takes a lot of time and effort and for me, it never actually comes out good. <laughs> it never actually works out. So I feel like I'm putting all this time and this effort and it's not even good. It's not even edible. Like, I'm not proud. <laughs> so why do it? But my host family had been asking me to make them a dish um, because my roommate, which is also in my program, um, made them mac and cheese and like more of a traditionally American like meal um, it was like a boxed mac and cheese and stuff but it was actually really good so I had to like also follow Sue and do my dish and I was really like not knowing what I was gonna do or even if I wanted to do it like I was really dreading that whole idea but a little late but still worked out the second to last day, I was like, okay, I'll make you guys tacos. Um, 
because I thought it was pretty easy. The hardest part would be making the chicken, and I've seen my mom make chicken a thousand times. She's had me season the chicken for her a thousand times, and I'm just like, I got this, right? Um, so we went to the supermarket. I basically got everything that I needed and got to work. And when I tell y'all this was hitting, it was so good. You guys, my chicken was so good. Everybody just devoured it. Like, it literally was gone in, like, five minutes. One, everybody was really hungry because <laughs> we were breaking fast. But two, it was actually good. And I'm so proud of myself. And um, I definitely see myself making it more in the States. And to actually see like everybody enjoying their meal I was really excited and happy with the turnout I will insert a video that I sent my mom um, in now mire la cena que he creado el pollito la lechuga el tomatico ahí chaquiti chaquiti una sour cream una salsita la guacamole las tortillas Aquí hay una sopa tradicional que se usa para, eh, desde que uno puede comer, ya uno se la puede tomar, la sopa, la salsa, todo. Obviamente con ayuda, lo único que no recibí ayuda fue para, la, para el pollo. Y los tomates lo piqué yo, eso yo le enseñé cómo picar, la lechuga, hice la salsita, recibí ayuda con el guacamole, pero yo le dije cómo hacer todo. But yeah, guys, today has been a great day. Today was honestly in the morning difficult. Um, I think it's like I've, I've figured out that I have kind of a pattern, like my body has a pattern. By the time it hits one or two, I'm like actually like better. But in the morning, if I wake up at 9 a.m., that entire time I'm just like suffering in silence. And then around one or two, I'm just like all of a sudden, I'm just like, oh. I can do this. Um, luckily, though, today, uh, around 2.30, I was able to take a nap till 4.30, and then I went to buy the ingredients for dinner and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Hey, guys. So, today is my last day fasting. It's also my last day in Morocco, which blows my mind. It's literally so crazy to me. Um already four months past like that's actually insane and so i just wanted to update you guys on how my fasting is going so today it's been a great day as you can see i'm in the middle of preparing to go um so let me take you through my day um i went to okay first i woke up at 11 today uh. Plus up. <laughs> because all of these days I've been going to bed really late but waking up super early for class. And what I decided to do today was today I had a, a last reflection class, which I knew was gonna be bull crap. So I decided to not go. Um because I needed it. <laughs> Cause tomorrow is gonna be a long day. I'm gonna be traveling from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then from 7 p.m., I'm not going to sleep. Like, I'm going to go out with my cousin. And he's like, it's going to be a long night. And I'm like, ah, we love that. Um, so I have to get my beauty sleep where I can. And so I decided to sleep in. Um, I went to this very beautiful salon. I was going to record in there, but I was like, mm, don't want to be embarrassing or something. Um, so... Yeah, I got my hair done, got my nails done, got a mani-pedi or whatever. Then from that, I finished at like 4, 4.30, came home. And ever since then, I've been finalizing my packing. I just have that one left. And the stuff on top of it, I forgot to put inside of the big one. So I'll just reopen it and do that. And because I woke up so late and because I've been so busy, I haven't really felt groggy or like struggling when it comes to not eating or drinking water or anything for that matter um, until now. Now I'm like, okay, I'm parched as heck, but I'm literally like an hour, two hours away from breaking fast. Uh, so I would say today was the easiest day because I woke up late and I've been so busy that I haven't really been focused on 
the fact that I'm hungry or thirsty or whatever. So, we doing good, y'all. Now I'm gonna. Oh, hi, Mama. Hi, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so today was my last day of fasting and I already told you guys why is my little sister over here recording me? Why? Oh, so I have um this is my other little sister. I have <laughs> had a great time filming these little updates for you guys. Dinner was great. We had tagine and we filmed some other videos for you guys so you guys are going to be seeing this outfit a lot <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um really had lots of fun i learned a lot um i think ramadan is an ev amazing event um it does really enlighten you and humble you and teach you a lot about your privilege and makes you reflect on your life, which I appreciate. Um, yeah, tomorrow I will be traveling. Leaving Morocco today is my last night. I am going to miss it. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her. I've had a great time. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe now um bye say bye bye <laughs>